And in breaking news, Johnny Depp's lost his defamation case against the Sun newspaper that claimed he had assaulted his former wife, Amber Heard, in a highly anticipated ruling today. The judge, Andrew Nicholl, found the paper's allegation against Johnny Depp was substantially true. Depp launched action against the Sun and one of its journalists, Dan Wooten, over a 2018 article that claimed he had been violent towards Amber. The paper was required to prove the claim was substantially accurate on the balance of probabilities. Although he proved the necessary elements of his cause of action in libel, the defendants have shown that what they published in the meaning, which I have held the words to bear, was substantially true, the judge said. Depp and Heard gave evidence before Judge Andrew Nicholl during a three-week hearing at London's High Court, laying bare their private lives and making allegations of serious domestic abuse, drug-taking and affairs. The Sun statement is that the Sun has stood up and campaigned for the victims of domestic abuse for over 20 years. Domestic abuse victims must never be silenced and we thank the judge for his careful consideration and thank Amber Heard for her courage in giving evidence to the court. Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredhoff, said in a statement, For those of us present for the London High Court trial, this decision and judgment are not a surprise. The court heard of an explosive argument inside a Gold Coast mansion, which is actually only about an hour from me, rented while Depp filmed the latest instalment of Pirates of the Caribbean. The court also heard evidence that Heard knew that she did not have permission to bring her pet dogs into Australia in 2015, but did so anyway and later pressured a staff member to take the blame. The judge said Heard's description of the Gold Coast incident as a three-day hostage situation was something of a hyperbole but accepted she had been the victim of assault whilst in Australia but he said yet taking all the evidence together I accept that she was the victim of sustained and multiple assaults by Johnny Depp in Australia it is a sign of the depth of his rage that he admitted scrawling graffiti and blood from his injured finger and then when that was insufficient dipping his badly injured finger in paint and continuing to write messages and other things the judge also said, I accept her evidence of the nature of the assaults he committed against her. They must have been terrifying. I accept that Mr. Depp put her in fear of her life. The judge also rejected Depp's claim that Heard had severed his fingertip during the row. The couple met while making the Rum Diary in 2011 and married in February 2015, but Heard filed for divorce 15 months later. Depp told the court that he was never violent towards Amber, that she was lying and that she had often attacked him. He said he lost the tip of her finger after she threw a vodka bottle at him inside the Gold Coast property. Heard said Depp would turn into a jealous alter ego after binging on drugs and alcohol. He had often threatened to kill her, she told the hearings, detailing 14 occasions of extreme violence when she said the actor choked, punched, slapped, headbutted, throttled and kicked her. The judge said today that he had ruled against Depp after examining each of the 14 allegations.